And uh, apart from that, I'd like to share with you as well uh, a couple of um, trade ideas. And uh, the reason I'm doing that as well is to marry that with uh, what the banks, uh, I mean, with current news as well as uh, what the major banks are uh, hinting us with their trade ideas or, you know, part of their wealth management department of what they have actually shared um, with their clients, especially. Okay. And this one here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, an excerpt from uh, Citibank and. Uh, just a, a bit of an idea of the pick of the day as of today. I mean, as of yesterday, yesterday they've given us more hints on uh, the Euro GBP, and uh, we'll talk about the Euro GBP and patterns revolving the Euro GBP as well. But as of now, we look into the USDJPY, and uh, we've got some uh, fundamental and technical hints, as you can actually see. I mean, I'm just uh, looking into what we could see at the lower paragraph there. I mean, under the this uh, table here, of course, with this table gives you a bit of a summary of uh, short-term technical support as well as uh, resistant uh, areas here, as you can see. But if you're looking into the USDJPY primarily would be the favorite uh, for the NFP trading. So if you're looking into the fundamental side of things, as you can see here, um, it is still expected to outperform um, at this moment of time, and, um, and it's increasing its uh, uh, safe haven uh, demand as well, which will definitely hurt the um, the Japanese economy on the export side of things. And uh, this is still happening as of now, but um, there are some hints of um, the USDJPY trading in the range of 99.02 uh, to 103.39. We'll take a look at the charts in a bit. And uh, once it's, uh, it would, um, it's hinted to go to the 95 level uh, once it passes through or peers through the 99.02 uh, area. Okay, and the second.